White balance can be confusing. You've got all these different settings to choose from. Degrees, Kelvin, tints, gels, temperature. So when, what, and why do you choose certain settings? It becomes a lot more clear once you wrap your head around a few simple things. Today, we're gonna to try and understand white balance. Welcome to the film look. Make your video look like it was tailor-made for the silver screen with Rocketstock's film grain overlay pack emulsion. Link in the description below or head over to rocketstock.com. The starting point, sunlight. Sunlight is pure white, the whitest of white. It's the global standard for all things light and colour because that shiny ball in the sky is what illuminates our world. So this is our starting point, our default. We're going to compare all of the light to sunlight. Cameras measure colour temperature in degrees Kelvin. The colour of sunlight is 5500 Kelvin. Everything up the scale is cooler and everything down the scale is warmer. You can go across the scale but for today we're going to concentrate on the essentials. Fooling your camera. The pre-made white balance settings on your camera are there to trick the camera into believing a different colour is white. Tungsten lights, aka household bulbs for example, are naturally warmer than sunlight. They appear, compared to the white of sunlight, quite warm and orange. On the Kelvin scale, they sit at 3200 Kelvin. This is where the trick comes in. You can actually fool the camera into believing that warmer light is white. If you were shooting a scene indoors and needed to add white light but only had tungsten lights, you can tell the camera to turn those white. But be warned, as soon as you start adjusting that Kelvin scale, you're going to be adjusting all the colours in that scale too. If you tell the camera warm is white, that means everything the camera sees becomes colder. The warm light becomes white, white becomes cold and bluish, and all other colour gets adjusted in that direction. Sticking to daylight balance. If you are shooting a night scene indoors beside a desk with a warm desk lamp, you might think you have to set this lamp to white, because, you know, white balance. But what if you want it warm? What if the warm orange evening look is what you're going for? Then you can keep the white balance to daylight. There is no law that says that that light has to be white. Shoot the image as close to the intentional final image. If you want it warm, then shoot it warm. But shooting it safe, shooting it white, then adding a little warmth in post isn't a bad decision either. It's customary to provide some white light into the warm scene to see the colour contrast between the warm and cold tones. It helps the warmth stand out and prevent it from becoming muddy. It's fair to say if you've got sunlight in your scene, it must be white. For example, if you have a scene with a warm lamp in it, but also have a window with daylight pouring in, you will want to set the white balance back to daylight. If you set the warm light to daylight balance, the sunlight coming through the window will turn very blue, which will make the scene look really strange. This is a clear sign of the amateur look. Now simulating moonlight is a whole different ball game, but if it's supposed to be sunlight, it's supposed to be white. Gels. Gels are there to adjust the white balance of the light directly from its source rather than from the camera. It's very similar to adjusting the settings on the camera, but instead of fooling the camera from inside, you are fooling the source of light. Let's go back to the warm desk lamp during the day. You might not want the desk lamp to be so warm, but changing the camera settings to fool the warm light to look white will mess up the colour of the sunlight. By adding a blue gel to the warm lamp, keeping the camera settings to daylight balance, the sunlight will be white and the lamp will be significantly cooled down. So that is the very basics of white balance. We are going to be doing further videos about white balance and lighting further down the line, so get subscribed and hit that notification bell to keep updated. Nothing beats the traditional film grain aesthetic. So if you want to give your video a true cinema look or the film look, check out these incredible grain overlays by Rocket Stock. Their emulsion pack was shot using real film stock, including Eastman Double X and Kodak Vision 3. Head over to rocketstock.com to see for yourself. Thanks for watching another episode of the film look, and remember to achieve it one shot at a time.